What's up YouTube? Have you ever wanted to learn the app Procreate in just five minutes? Well, that's what we're here to do today. Welcome back, my name is Ben Nielsen. I'm a media design educator and today we're talking all about the drawing app Procreate, which is on the iPad. So let's talk a little bit first about what Procreate is and then we'll dive in and we'll actually take a look at it. Procreate is a raster brush based drawing app that is available for the iPad and that's the only platform that Procreate proper is available for. You can't get it on a different kind of tablet like a Samsung tablet or an Android tablet. You can't get it on a Mac or a PC desktop and you can't get Procreate proper on a phone, but you can get a version of it called Procreate Pocket, which goes on the iPhone. But today we're just talking about the iPad version. It is a single purchase app that costs just $12.99 in the Apple iPad App Store, and that's all you're going to pay. So that's what the app is. Let's go ahead and dive in and take a look at it. Okay, so here we are in Procreate. I just have an illustration pulled up here. This is an illustration from my series on The Hobbit, which is called On the Doorstep. This is just so that we can kind of see all of the things that we're talking about here actually have an illustration in place because we won't have time to draw one today. First, we're going to talk about the interface. And the first thing I want to say about the interface is that I am using an Apple Pencil to interact with the interface most of the time, but also my fingers. If you don't have an Apple Pencil, I highly, highly suggest that you get one if you're planning to use Procreate. It's really made to work with the Apple Pencil. Okay. So looking at Procreate here, we are in a document. If we need to jump back out, we would hit the gallery in the top left. That's going to pop us back out. Now let's go ahead and jump back in. Then we have some menu items here. Here is the wrench. This has all of our preferences in it and our actions and things to deal with the canvas and exporting and all of those things you might find under a file or edit menu. Then you have the magic wand, which is the adjustments. Then you have the selection tool. Then you have the move tool. Then you have your actual drawing tools on the right hand side. So you have the brush tool, the smudge tool, the eraser tool. Then you have your layers panel, which we'll talk about in a second, and your color panel. And then on the right hand side, you have your sliders. You can slide up and down to change the size of your brush. You can slide up and down on the one below that to change the opacity. Then you have this little button here, which you can set to do different things. Mine is set to the eyedropper tool. So I can go along and I can select a specific color and then it will drop up here into my color dot. You also have undo and redo buttons here, but the easiest way to do those is with gestures. So let me go ahead and grab a big round brush here and we'll just make a new layer and we'll draw across here. Whoa, if I didn't like that, I would just do a two finger tap to undo it. If I wanted to redo it, I would do a three finger tap to redo it. Those are the most important gestures. Before we talk about drawing, let's actually talk about the layers because this is really, really important to understand. It's probably the most fundamental thing to understand to make Procreate useful for you. Let's open up the layers. Layers stack on top of each other. So this layer I've created, if I want to put that on top of everything, I'm just going to tap it and drag it and bring it up and now, it's going to be on top of everything, except I don't want it on top of my effects here. Layers can be turned on or off. So you can see I have sketch layers here. So when I turn that on, you can see what my sketch looked like. This is so, so useful. So you can see I have my highlights. So when I turn that off, all my highlights disappear. Then I can turn them back on. There's my highlights. Just use a pinch gesture to zoom out and move it around. And I have my shadows. So I turn my shadows on and off. Now, how do you do that? Well, layers have blend modes on them. So if you've ever used blend modes in something like Photoshop, this should be familiar to you. You can see that the highlights have a screen blend mode applied. And the shadows, I'm using a multiply blend mode. And working on layers allows you to adjust each piece individually. So I try and generally do each thing on a different layer. Now that we know a little bit about layers, let's talk about drawing. So within the brushes, there are tons of different brushes. Now I've also purchased some brushes, but there's loads of different brushes down here. So those all come with Procreate for free. So right now I have the round brush, which is kind of a standard brush. And just so you can see this well, we'll go ahead and change to black. This is our color palette. And there are several different views, depending on how you like to set up your colors, you can use different ones here. And now I can draw. So as I draw, this is all going onto that top layer. And if I change my brush, it will change the way it looks. So if I change from my round brush to let's say the rainforest brush, you can see how that looks different. Let me undo that so you can see more. Let's make it small and we'll change back to our round brush here. And then when you do this, you can see it's smaller. And then if I make it even smaller, there you go. And you can see it can get darker or lighter depending on how much pressure I'm applying to it. Okay, then we have the smudge. Smudges can use any of the brushes that you have as kind of their basis, but when you come along, you're just gonna use that brush to smudge them together. So it lays down no new ink and then the eraser. Same thing, the eraser can use any of the brushes that you have as the pattern for its erasing, but it's going to remove ink. 
and it's only going to work on the layer that you are selected on. But let's talk just a little bit about other features. There's a bunch of menu options on the layer here. You can also adjust the opacity. For example, on Bilbo here, I have used the opacity adjuster to make him look like he's partially invisible because he's wearing the ring here. So let's go ahead and we will delete this top layer. Adjustments are used to do things like change the hue and saturation, apply a blur, that kind of thing. Now, one really important thing to note is that all adjustments are destructive in Procreate. So you can't do any adjustment layers. They're just going to be adjustments applied to whichever layer you are on. Okay, that's really all we have time to talk about today because we need to do this so quickly. All right, I hope you've enjoyed learning a little bit more about Procreate. Now, obviously we couldn't cover everything there is to know about this app in just five minutes. So I would really encourage you to take a little bit of a deeper dive into this, particularly if you wanna learn something specific. I have a course that just introduces you to the animation features in Procreate, which you can check out down in the links below. I'll also soon be releasing a course on how to create brushes in Procreate, so stay tuned for that as well. And now I wanna hear from you. Tell me, what do you like about Procreate? What have you used it for? Or what are you planning on using it for? We'll chat in the comments and I will see you in the next video.